Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you need to reach out to me or you want to reach out to me, there's a number of ways you can do that. Visit the description below this video, right? You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. We can talk about your business and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. And if you don't want to do that, then there's another way there's, I've got another ways that you can reach out to me, which is either through uh, WhatsApp or through uh, sending me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Stay up to date. Don't get stuck with your business. So today's video is more specific to baseball coaches. Now, if you've been watching our channel, on a regular basis, then you will know that we specialize in helping sports coaches grow and scale their own training business. So I myself have been working with sports coaches for a while now. Every single day I'm connecting with coaches in all sports, speaking to coaches, helping coaches with their business, interviewing coaches, uh, doing podcasts, putting content out, writing articles. So this is pretty much what I do on a regular basis. It's something that really uh, passions me, helping coaches with their business, growing, scaling, and also helping coaches in all sports. So today, if you are a baseball coach, then this video will really, really help you. Okay, so I want to talk about business mindset and how you can foster growth as a, as a baseball coach with your training business. So in order to develop a business mindset, right, you've got to go from being just a normal baseball coach to now developing entrepreneurial skills. Okay, and entrepreneurial skills is a combination of many different things, right? It's a combination of learning how to market your product, which is your coaching, is how to network, how to build a brand, how to speak with parents, how to have a how to develop a sales process where parents are reaching out to you and you're putting them through a process where you then close them into becoming a paid clients. Right. So I want to share with you a couple of things that, that is going to help you with your mindset as a baseball coach. Right. And things that are going to help you shift from just simply being a baseball coach or a baseball trainer to now having that that entrepreneurial minds business mindset. OK, now the first one is value proposition. Right. So when I talk about value proposition, it basically means defining your coaching coaching philosophy. So what is your coaching philosophy in baseball? And what is something that sets you apart from other baseball trainers? Okay, so you've got to identify the value that you bring to athletes that you work with and that you bring to clients that, that you bring into your business. Okay, so when I work with baseball coaches, I always say to them, right, what is, some, what is something that separates your coaching from everyone else? Right. Is it how you run your sessions? Is it how you communicate with players? Is it the end result in the sense that when players are going off the field, they're developing that confidence and then they're succeeding off the field? Uh, are they, is your, your coaching more skill specific? Right. Are you helping pitchers become more confident with their pitching? Uh, batters, fielders? Right. What is it that your coaching does that separates you from other trainers? OK. And when you identify your value, this is what ultimately builds your business, okay? because that is essentially your, your coaching. Remember, is your product when it comes to business. So parents are purchasing or buying your product based on your philosophy. So you've got to define what is your value proposition and what you do differently to everyone else. 
Right, now the second one is brand building. Okay, so brand building is how do you create a business brand that reflects your coaching style and your expertise. Okay, and what platform are you going to use in order to create this branding? So is, so is it going to be social media? Is it going to be through your website? Is it through networking? Right. What can you do to enhance your brand presence and build it to the point where parents can now define you for a certain thing? Right. So this got, kind of goes back to the first point where it's when I'm talking about value proposition. Right, so knowing what your value is, knowing your coaching philosophy, and how can we build a brand around your baseball coaching? Okay. Now, the next one is networking. Right, so networking is how is essentially growing the business. How are we going to grow the business? How are we going to build relationships with other coaches, other baseball organizations in our area, and influencers? in our local area that have access to clients, players, parents that we want to help and coach. Right? Next one, okay, and this kind of this still sticks with networking, but it, it goes with attending industry events, right? Industry events, workshops, conferences. So what are things that you're doing to build your network, right? Essentially, your network is your net worth. So however much you build your network will indicate how much network net worth you have. So attending baseball, industry events, keeping up to date with the latest trends, what, what is uh, the latest trends in training, what are parents purchasing, what are teams doing, okay? Uh, attending workshops, it could be business workshops to, to develop your business skills, conferences, and just expanding your network. Okay, and the next one is financial management, right? So developing a budget and managing your financial your finances effectively. Now, this is a common problem that a lot of baseball trainers that we work with have. They are running so many baseball sessions or lessons per week that then they are not very good with the money they make right a lot of a lot of trainers out there will do 30 to 40 to even 50 baseball lessons per week they'll make a lot of money but then they will be very bad with their finances right they will blow the money that they make uh, they will lose the money Right? And that's why when you develop a business mindset, you develop your business skills, this is essentially what's going to help you to become a better owner. Right? So exploring, the, obviously, again, financial management, exploring multiple revenue streams, such as coaching fees, introducing merchandise for your business, and building business partnerships. Right? So if you need help with any of the things that I spoke to you today, spoke to you about today if you need help with your baseball business then make sure you reach out to me again visit the description below i work with coaches in all sports and baseball on a daily basis so make sure you reach out to me and if you need more help make sure you subscribe to our channel stay up to date with all the latest content